three signs you should dump your girlfriend or your LTR or any chick that you are casually dating. Okay, these are my top three signs for how to know when it's time to let her go. All right, so let's just crack right into this. So the very first sign that it's time to dump your girlfriend, okay, is if she does not know how to treat you as a man, okay? And unfortunately, this is a lot of women these days. They just don't know how to treat you as a man, right? They're just too mouthy, they're too loud, they're too disrespectful, they don't know when to shut up, right? They keep on testing you, they keep on pushing your boundaries, and then it gets to the point where you're like, you know what, I'm just done. I can't deal with this chick anymore, right? And a lot of this comes from, I would say overwhelmingly, most of it comes from just having a very, very poor upbringing. 99% of the time this chick was raised by a single mother, right? And this single mother, because she is damaged goods, she will damage her daughter. Okay, as the old saying goes, like mother, like daughter, right? They say like father, like son, that's true, but I have not seen anything more truer than like mother, like daughter. They always follow in the same footsteps, looks wise, personality wise, behavioral traits, whether they be positive or negative, right? She's going to end up just like her mom. So I always tell guys, like, take a look at her mom, see what her mom's like, because that's what you're going to end up with if you stay with this chick, right? So that is the first sign that you should dump your girl, is if she just doesn't know how to treat you as a man. I've coached a, a few girls, right? I've coached girls who, like, find a great guy, and they're like, hey, M, you know what? I'm probably one of your rare female subscribers and I just found a great guy. How do I hang on to him? And I tell her, I'm like, you know what, girl? This is all you need to do. Just shut up once in a while. Don't disrespect him, okay? If you see that he's tired, you know, give him a neck massage, right? Give him a back massage. Give him a hand massage. I love that. I love when women just like massage my hand. Give him a hand massage, right? Make him feel like a man. Stop challenging his authority. I'm like, you know, girls, you got to make your man feel like a leader, right? You have to make him feel like a leader because if he doesn't feel like a leader and he feels like you're constantly trying to take the lead from him, he's going to lose interest in that, right? Nobody wants a girl like that. Right? And granted, yeah, it's his responsibility to take the lead from you and just lead and you follow. Right? And a lot of you guys, you don't do that. You let your girl lead. Like, oh, I gotta be, I gotta be PC. You know, this is, this is the current year. You know, all my favorite politicians are telling me that I should just let my woman lead. That's what Justin Trudeau says. No, <laughs> no. Right? You have to be the man. Okay? You have to listen to your own natural biological instincts to lead and you know what if you lead your relationship this chick will follow okay in most cases and again granted a lot of these girls have been brainwashed by feminism it's like oh he, i'm not gonna let him lead me what am i you know chop liver no no guys you have to take the lead and girls you know what if you want to hang on to your man yeah you, know, you got to shut up once in a while and let him lead and just follow and just you know what and just make him feel like you trust him to be a man, okay? Because when you trust him to be a man and you trust him to lead, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. He will do those things. And if he doesn't, then hey, he's a little bitch. Maybe you do have to cut him off, right? So I'm holding guys accountable here too, right? If you want to hang on to your girl, you got to lead, guys, all right? But uh, for the purpose of this coaching video, if you're doing those things and your girl is still constantly challenging you, not making you feel like a man, constantly just being a pain in the ass, time to let her go. You know, I'm great at leading. I'm great at being alpha in the relationship. I've had tons of long-term relationships, tons of LTRs, as well as having dated, you know, hundreds upon hundreds of women. So I know what to do in these situations. And there are times where I just meet a girl where she just, she just doesn't know when to shut up. And rather than put up with it, I'm just like, see you girl, done. I don't need it. You know, I got plenty of options. I'm not in scarcity. It's not, you know, you're not the last woman on earth. I can easily go and replace you. And I go and do that as you should. Okay. The number two sign that you should dump your girl is 
if she expects you to pay for everything, if she just sits back and every time the bill comes, she just expects you to magically pull out your wallet and magically just fund her, fund all your dinners, fund all your vacations, fund all of your trips together, fund everything you do together, all of your hobbies, all of your activities. If she never pays for anything, I mean, I just dump these girls you know, after, usually after I've had sex with them, I just, I just get rid of them. Um, because really there's not much more value after that. I mean, especially if the girl's hot, you know, I hate to say it. I mean, a lot of these guys are going to do the same thing, ladies. I mean, it's like, if you're good looking, he'll stick around long enough to have sex with you. But as soon as that's over, because you're not offering anything else. Right. And I mean, financially, you know, like I'm in a position right now where I can afford to pay for, you know, the girls that I date easily. I don't, you know, and like one of the girls I was dating, she was 19. She didn't have, you know, she was like working basically at a coffee shop. So she's not making the type of money I am. Right. And that's understandable. But this girl would still like constantly make an effort to be like, hey, do you know, do you want me to, uh, do you know, do you want me to take care of dinner tonight? You know, or hey, you know, uh, do you want me to get the concert tickets and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, at times I let her do that because I wanted her to appreciate me. You know, it wasn't like I was trying to save money and like, you know, like eat up like the little money that she makes at her job. But I wanted her to appreciate me, too. But more than that, I mean, it was like the fact that this chick was 19. She's definitely not making the type of money I am. But she was here like trying to put in an effort. Whereas I've dated women who have great jobs. Right? I remember I dated a woman who was an attorney. She had an, a successful practice. She never whooped out her wallet once. And she totally had the money paid for all this. One time I dated this fashion designer in LA. Like she was rich. She never like once took me out. And it's things like that where I was just like, okay, well, I don't want to do this. You know, I want somebody who appreciates me too. So if your girl is like that, where she expects you to pay for everything, um, not only is that going to drain you financially to the point where, you know, you're you're not going to feel, I mean, even if you can't afford it, say you're a multimillionaire, or, you know, you just have a lot of money in the bank, still, right, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth because at some point you're like, what about me, right? It You don't really feel appreciated if she's not doing anything for you financially. Make sense? You know, I shouldn't say financially, but if she's not like taking you out also or you know, um, doing nice things for you that where she, you know, where it, you know, it costs her a little bit of, uh, a little bit of dough, you know, and some of these women just, it's sad, but they, uh, they, they don't appreciate, you know, they don't appreciate their man enough to do stuff like that, you know, so moving on the third and final sign that you should dump your girl is if she's unsupportive of you, if she's unsupportive of your, of your goals, unsupportive of your dreams, unsupportive of your ambitions. Like anytime you talk about so, you know, what you wanna do with your life or you know, some business you wanna build or some career you wanna pursue, she just like rolls her eyes or she laughs or she snickers, right? She's just not supportive of you. And you know, a little bit of that can be attributed to mate guarding she could just be a little threatened that, hey, you know, you might just succeed and you might leave her behind. But even in that situation, that's not the type of response you want from her when you share your goals and your dreams and your hopes and your ambitions with her. You know, instead you want her to be like, hey, I'm behind you 100%, babe, whatever you need, I will be there for you. That's what you want to hear, right? You don't want to hear her like, oh my gosh, are you serious? You, you, a stockbroker, or you know, you starting your own business? <laughs> you know, if she does that, I'm done. I mean, like, why would you even put up with that, right? Why would you even put up with that level of disrespect? Whether she doesn't believe in you or she is threatened by you actually becoming successful, um, that's not the type of teammate you want, right? Because when you're in a relationship with somebody, whether it be a casual relationship or an actual LTR, long-term relationship, you want to know that that person has your back, right? Because if she doesn't, why would you even want to go further with this girl? Because you know you're never going to be able to depend on her 
to be behind you 100%. Right? And I've had even family members that I've just stopped talking to that weren't behind me. Right? But if I'm dating a girl and she's not behind me, I mean, it's... <laughs> there's no way. It's not. It's just not going to work. Right? It's just not going to work. So, those are the top three signs for how to know when it's time to dump your girl. When it's time to move on. And I'm going to give you a bonus sign because what this really all boils down to is... You'll know that it's time to dump her when she becomes more trouble than she's worth, okay? When your girl becomes more trouble than she's worth, that's, that's really how you'll know it's time to let her go. It's time to move on. If she's just causing you too much headache, she's just zapping you of energy, you're constantly feeling like mentally, physically, and spiritually exhausted, Every time after you guys talk or after you guys fight, you know, it's time to move on because there are other people out there, you know, other women that you'll meet that will energize you, that will make you feel great about yourself, that will make you believe in yourself, right? You shouldn't need a woman for that, but I mean, it's even better when you find a partner who will support you in everything you do and who will be behind you no matter what, right? No matter what, you guys who watch Rocky IV, remember that scene where Rocky IV, uh, like he went to Moscow, he was training, and then all of a sudden Adrian showed up, right? And then I think her first words, or her only words, were, hey, I'm with you no matter what. And then Rocky's like, no matter what. And she was like, no matter what. Where are these women today, for Pete's sake, right? No matter what you should be behind your man, okay? And if you don't feel like you can trust him, you know, to be a man, to lead, then hey, maybe you need to move on, okay? Because that relationship's just gonna be toxic. It's never gonna work, right? So I'm gonna wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets. Do not forget to smash that like button. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on YouTube. And more importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I know lately YouTube has been unsubscribing you guys from my channel, so please make sure you are still subscribed to my channel. Very important. And also make sure you share my coaching videos with other like-minded red pill friends of yours so we could really start spreading this knowledge out there right let's spread this red pill knowledge out to other guys and awaken more guys get more guys woke because that's what we're here to do right we're not only here to date beautiful women but we're also here to get more guys woke to this knowledge and for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill content even further the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program seven months to mastery where I am teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the type of women that you will not find in your social circle and you will not find at the bars and clubs, but only the venues that I teach you to go to in seven months to mastery, right? And you're gonna learn skills that your parents, teachers, and society failed to teach you. You're gonna learn skills that only an experienced pickup artist can teach you. And I'm one of the world's best, okay? I'm one of the best pickup artists in the world. I've been doing this my entire adult life. I've taught thousands upon thousands of men all around the world how to approach and close high value, high caliber, beautiful women. It's crazy to think, but many of these guys have gone on to get married. Like some, hey, I'm not advocating marriage, by the way. That's completely up to you, right? I'm not for it or against it, right? I, as I always tell you guys, if you're going to go that route, just be careful. But a lot of my students have gone on to get married because they just found like a bomb ass girl, a cool ass chick that they want to spend the rest of their lives with. And a lot of these guys have had kids now, crazy. And they send me photos, they're like, oh my God, Em, thank you. It's all because of you. You know, guys that were in my program, even just a few years ago, are sending me photos from their wedding, uh, their kids that they've had, 
I've got students from the late 90s, the early 2000s who now have kids that are like in high school, they're like entering college. It's just insane to me, right? It's insane to me that these guys like have taken it that far. But uh, you know, this is some really powerful knowledge I'm teaching you in seven months of mastery. And it's knowledge that you can use not only to attract young, beautiful women into your life, but it's knowledge that you can use in every area of your life. Because as I always teach you guys, pickup is life. Everything out there is pickup. Whether you're buying a brand new car, you're buying a house, you're negotiating, or you're just trying to get better service at your favorite restaurant. Everything is pickup, okay? Every single human interaction, okay? Anytime you communicate with another human being, you're doing pickup, right? <laughs> as I said, life is pickup. So it's very, very imperative you learn this stuff. This is the number one most powerful skill in the world. I kid you not, okay? And it saddens me that a lot of guys just dismiss it because all they see is what's on the surface. Like, oh, pickup doesn't work anymore. Oh, PUA is a scam, you know? And it's like, dude, do you seriously think I would have spent my entire adult life doing this if it was a scam, if it didn't work? Are you serious? No, I would have quit a long time ago, but this stuff is that powerful. Right, so if you want to jump into seven months of mastery, the first month is only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons. So take advantage of it, it's the absolute best way to support my work. Okay, and all you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now, it just takes two seconds. So do that now, and I will see you in my next coaching video.